I think it has to do only with the, our world view of what is gratification. I think that that would decide what should be uh, your expectation out of a business. There are people who don't like to do the same thing for 20, 30, 40 years. They build something with great passion over 5 to 7, 10 years and then when they feel that they have got the gratification they wanted out of the process of building something, then they decide to move on and they give a mature or relatively stable business to somebody else who can grow it and handle the maturity phase of the business. Whereas if somebody wants to just sit back and enjoy the fruits of his creating something, then he may be interested in running a stable, mature business also for 5 to 10 years later, longer. It depends upon what is your gratification. Is your gratification building businesses? Is your gratification just merely owning businesses? Or is your gratification about getting value out of selling a business? There are different ways in which you view gratification. In some instances, it could be a mix of all these things. So we'll have to see what is the dominant expectation of the founder or the entrepreneur. Once he is clear, then he has to work towards what he wants. It's as simple as that. There is no uh, one view. It's about what you are comfortable with. But one thing very, very important is, if your worldview of gratification is one thing, I see no merit in your trying to do something extremely far away from that view. Try to be closer to what is your worldview of gratification. Because only then you will do what you are naturally capable of doing well. Otherwise, you will be in a zone which you are not comfortable with. I will give you an example. There are people who are very good at organically building businesses. Okay, these guys are like the tortoise in the proverbial hare and tortoise race. Now, if a tortoise suddenly says that I am going to behave like a hare and I am going to impress all the venture capitalists and try to tell them how I can do things very, very fast, he is going to be a little bit out of his depth doing something which is naturally not his forte. So that is something one should be very, very capable of avoiding. That is something you should be conscious of not doing. So I think that... Um, once you are clear about what you are good at and you are sure that what you are good at sits well with what you want to do, the business should also allow you to do that. I may be good at something, but I may be the right man in the wrong business. Once you avoid that, then you will be moving towards your idea of gratification in a way in which you can realize it. You will know it. Doing that unnaturally or against your nature is not going to lead you to a good place. You are not going to get your gratification. And the people whom you take along in this journey are also not good fellow travelers to have on it. So that is something in which nobody will be happy. So this decision should come to the entrepreneur. He must either be wise enough to understand this or he should surround himself with reasonable wisdom to give him this thought process. Um, there have been instances where uh, people have raised a lot of money uh, by doing something which is against their nature and then come under pressure in delivering it and then lost out the control of what they tried to create. And then seeing the same venture do well in the hands of somebody else. Now, where was the fault line? The fault line was in how you set about going to accomplish what you wanted. That's all. 